What's up guys, it's me again, Crushed Pixel. Today I'm here and there are so many zombies attacking me right now. And this is pretty bad because there are also these skeletons. And if I want to fight them, I won't stand a chance. So, fortunately, I can build myself a little defense shield here. And just out of these blocks. And if I put another wreck down below... Ah! It defends me from all evil. See, they die if they're outside. Isn't that awesome? Go die. And now that I fought against all of them, I can simply um, remove that defense shield and I'm safe. Isn't that great? What I have for you today is a method to test if a player is um, near a certain structure uh, in any place. So wherever I am, I can test if there is the structure that I showed you um, near me. And of course I can then do some stuff according to if it's true. And this basically uses the new execute detect feature. And what I did is uh, I wrote a filter that generated a nested execute detect command and what it does, it executes for every player um, it tests for every block around him, for example um, in this spot there should be a diamond block and if, if this is true it's going to execute and look for a gold block in another, in another spot then it's going to look for another diamond block um, some nether rack down below and so on so basically this just searches for every structure and um, for every single block and whenever it successes it moves on to the next block and if it found the final block what it's going to do in my case it's going to do scoreboard players set at p which is the player that found all of the blocks around him shield one and this basically just sets a scoreboard set display sidebar shield let me just demonstrate it to you so if i place this anywhere and I'm standing right there. See, my shield score triggers and um, the effects are given according to the command blocks that we have here. Uh, for example, uh, it sets the world border to two blocks um, after putting it to the center, but uh, this is not what I'm focusing on. Uh, what, what the really interesting part is, is that um, this filter is available for download for everybody. Um, I'm going to do a release video in two days and yeah, I'm simply going to explain how to use the filter and there's going to be a download link. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video. This time it was a little bit shorter because um, I didn't explain how um, I managed to do all the stuff with the world border. Actually, it's not too complicated. Most of you will be able to recreate it themselves. See you in the next video. Stay tuned for the filter. Thanks for watching. Thank you.